great, Natty Knox. Uh, this is a newer movie to me. Haven't watched it before. I looked it up on Tubi, and I saw that Bill Mosley and Daniel Harris uh, were the stars in it. Uh, they're no stranger to the horror genre. They've been in many horror movies. So this takes place in a small town during Halloween. It revolves around a legend of a woman named Natty. She lives with her family on a farm, a God-fearing German family. And one day her father comes home and sees her in bed with a teenage boy. Well, he doesn't care for that at all, and Natty is basically banished and thrown out into the street. She ends up basically having her own enterprise of being a prostitute, and business is very busy. Now, when the uptight Citizens of her town find out, they decide to dispense out some revenge, and they basically light her on fire at her place, and she burns to death. And due to, due to it being an old boy's mentality, good old boys, basically... What's written on her report is basically death by misadventure. So it becomes, in a way, like a local legend, like a ghost story that's passed down from person to person in town. So you have this group of high schoolers. They basically run afoul of basically the local spooky person. He dresses up in weird clothes and he has like makeup on his face and they're convinced that he's behind the disappearances of people in town um, around this Halloween season. So they end up uh, throwing baseballs through his window with notes attached to them saying, turn yourself in, we're watching you. And what they fail to know is that every time they throw a ball through his window of his house, it has his name written on the baseball. So basically this odd person knows who's playing these pranks on him, who's trying to blackmail him and to go to the police. And uh, it doesn't end very well. Uh, for these teenagers. Um, they think they're smarter than they really are. They think they'll be able to blackmail this guy. And they think he's responsible for the latest disappearances in town. Uh, this movie is really, it's a slow burn. It's not very fast paced. I mean, Daniel Harris is really only in it for like, five, six minutes stops, but she's, you know, prominently displayed on, you know, the poster art. Uh, Bill Mosley, he has a small part as well. I'd say it's like 10 minutes, if that. It's a small but important role. Um, I was really hoping to see both of them featured in the more, featured in the movie more extensively than what we got. And Again, we have Robert England. Um, he works um, at the local precinct and he basically confides into one of the teenage boys about the local legend and, you know, lets him read through the case file and whatnot. So again, he's only in it for like five minutes. So, <laughs> so I mean, a little bit disappointing if you're um, expecting, you know, for these horror stars to have big extensive roles in this but they're basically like short little cameos in a way 
Um, you spend a lot of time with the teenagers, you know, up to the regular teenage hijinks, you know, them trying to hook up with their other classmates and, you know, playing pranks, uh, you know, for around Halloween and just bothering people and whatnot. Um, one of them steals copper wire and he basically gives it to his mom's boyfriend and says, you know, here, I want you to give me some money for this copper wire that I copped uh, because, you know, you can make a decent profit off of it. And <laughs> the wife, or I mean, his mom's boyfriend says, you know, all right, I'll give you this much money and don't tell anyone where this came from uh, because it's illegal. You know, he stole the copper wire and uh, just stuff like that. Um, really not a lot happens. You get like little flashbacks to, you know, the woman named Naughty and, you know, how she's treated pretty shitty um, by the townspeople. They say she's a witch or a cursed hippie woman involved in black magic and all this other bullshit. And, you know, they kill her brutally and she basically burns to death. So, yeah, I thought the movie was okay. I was expecting a bit more um, because of the cast on the poster. And I feel like, um, I don't know, I feel like it could have had a bigger body count. It could have had more gore. I mean, you you got that here and there a little bit. But it's really saved for basically the last act of the movie. Um, it's like 26 minutes long when one of their classmates uh, disappears off screen and they think the strange man uh, in the house that they're bringing, they basically think, okay, he's, he's the one who's making these people disappear, so we'll try to blackmail them, or blackmail him, I'm sorry. Uh, so, I don't know. I, you might like it just to watch the cameos, or if you're into watching movies that take place on Halloween, I thought it, it was okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd watch it again, but um, I thought it could have done a bit more with the setting of Halloween. It could have had a bigger body count. But for whatever reason, uh, it wanted to focus on these teen characters and build them up before getting to the horror section of the movie, which is like the last act. So give this one a watch. Let me know what you guys think of this. Am I all wet? It's called Natty Knox. It's on Tubi. And, you know, let me know what you guys like. What movies do you like that are centered around Halloween? Uh, let me know in the comments. And I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.